This is uh, the new norm to us. This is, you can almost call it old hat by now. We've kind of been out of the oil business two, three years. Um, it's very anticlimactic. Once this thing goes in your house, you've gone out, you've researched, you've thought about this all night. You, you've stayed up at night, you got all your bids, you analyzed all your bids. Then the day comes, the guy puts it in, and all, what does he do? Turns on the switch. And yeah, you can go down and babysit the thing every day and be nice to it. And, and you that will. Kind of stuff. And you, you yeah, spend yeah, that yeah, absolutely. Money. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes, it's a nice new car. But in the end, uh, after those days, uh, you'll ignore it a little more year by year, and it'll just do its job. And you'll think in tons. You know, and you don't worry about locking in or, or who pre-bought and who went out of business in the oil company right. and all that crap because mm -hmm. they just don't do that. Um, if you're not familiar with the website and what is out there, there's a ton of information on there. there there's a calculator on there. I'm a degree engineer. I didn't believe the thing so before, I, before I put mine in. So, but yes, it's accurate to within about 5%. Uh, my house is 3,300 square feet. It used to burn 1,000 to 1,200 gallons a year. Three, four years ago, maybe five, I hit the lottery and locked in at 410 a gallon. So do the math on that. There goes 5,000 bucks that went right out of our house after tax, all that sort of stuff. That was a rough year. Um, with skepticism, um, I was where you guys are right now. I have a smaller home, so you've got a different perspective. I've got a 1,300 square foot ranch. I bought the home with a furnace, which was horribly inefficient. I purchased another oil furnace. I mean, over the course of the 30, Four years I've owned my home. You know, I've gone back with wood boilers. I've, I've done it all. I've done everything other than propane. And uh, never was I happy. I've been looking at this system for quite some time. I had to do something. And I, I bit the bullet two and a half years ago. And uh, it's probably the best, certainly the best investment I've done in my life. Um, annual heating cost for me is less than $1,200 a year for heat and hot water. I haven't had one lick of problems in two and a half years, nothing. The only thing I've done in two and a half years is I've probably emptied the ash pan six times in two and a half years at about two, minute, two minutes each. So I probably wasted 12 minutes of my time in the last two and a half years. But if you know how to operate a thermostat, I think you'll, you're going to like this system. You'll be okay. I have about 3,300 square feet and was using a little over 1,200 gallons of oil a year. Uh, the first year, uh, I used just under four tons of pellets. Um, we also did uh, a wood stove at the same time, so it's not an easy comparison, but I also uh, burned a couple cords of firewood. So, you know, I spent about $1,500 that year versus nearly 5,000 the prior year. Glad every day that I made the, the choice. Uh, again, I, I think like everybody here on the panel, or almost everybody on the panel, we, we probably all made this decision without uh, getting funding from the state of Maine, exception of you. Um, I'm from New Hampshire. That's yeah, right. yeah, so it wasn't a choice there. So I, I didn't have the credits that I did today, but uh, that would have made the choice even more even easy. easy. We can hear it, but it's still quieter than our oil furnace. Even when the vacuum runs to pull in the pellets, it's quieter than the oil furnace was as far as the oil furnace kicking on and just burning. Now, I've had mine three years. I heat about 2,500 square feet. I have four zones. Uh, I was burning about 1,100 gallons of oil. Uh, the first winter that I had it, heating both my hot water and the house, uh, used about five and a half tons of pellets. Right now, when I start this heating season this year, I've already saved $7,600 in three years over the cost of oil. Uh, if it feels a little cool, I don't mind at all kicking that thermostat up because it's cheap heat. Yep. If, I, you know, if I turn that up and I burn another 10 cents worth of pellets, uh, I don't feel bad at all. And I don't know how you feel about turning up your oil furnace, but most everybody I know can get their hands slapped when they get near that thermostat. Don't touch it. <laughs> and People will ask me, do you still stay warm? I understand this is a, this is a, a furnace. It's, a boil, it's, it's taking the place of your other boiler. It's heating the hot water in the baseboard. So it's not like putting in a wood stove in the basement and hoping it's going to heat the house because that's not at all obviously how it works. It actually is a system to heat your hot water so that will circulate through the home just like it did with the oil furnace. And another question that comes up from everybody is, what's the payback? It's an interesting question when we talk about payback because when I built my house, I put an oil furnace in. I didn't say to myself, what's my payback on my oil furnace? We just got our system last year 
And one of the cool things about this system is you can go to any of the competitors and they'll admit freely and openly, they did to me at least, that this is a superior system, but they, what they say is it's so much more expensive, you have to be rich to get it. I almost didn't get a quote actually because of that. And so I went to one of the uh, competitors in Portland, I got a quote and uh, it was looking good and so forth. And luckily I did end up getting a quote from these guys as well. And every installation is different, so I don't, but this was my experience is um, the quote for this one ended up being very comparable to the, uh, to the competitor who said, this one's a lot better, but it's just so much more expensive. It doesn't have good value. And I just wanted to help dispel that because like I said, I almost didn't get the quote. And in the end, um, it was actually cheaper here, slightly so. And the best part is, is everybody in the industry agrees, best one out there. I burned pellets for seven years in a Harman pellet stove, uh, handled five and a half tons of pellets a year, 40 pounds at a time. And I have the vacuum system. And every time it turns on, I say 40 pounds I didn't have to lift. With this system, we went to see, and we did see another system uh, it was recommended, we went to see it, we walked out of that meeting after two hours and my wife's first comment was, I'm calling you all burner guy because that's not coming into my house. It was noisy, it was messy, um, it just didn't work and all. You had to clean the ash bin once a week. If you didn't clean it, the sy system shut off. I talked to Maine Energy here, um, went to Rick's house, saw his system, and we decided to buy the system. It was more expensive. But the other system we saw was about $1,000 less. It wasn't much of a savings for the quality we have here. And my delivery, the first time you know, you've seen the trucks they use to deliver, and I'm saying, you know, we got a narrow street that we live on, and I got a small driveway. He's not going to get, you know, Bertha or Mongo into my driveway. Uh, they get it in very easily, yeah. just as easy as an oil delivery. Uh, it really works well. So it's been a good investment. I but actually did have a brand new boiler six months before I bought this system because oh. I had insurance on my oh. system the boiler failed the company came put a brand new boiler in and still decided to make this switch this is a state-of-the-art pellet system this is the this is the system 2000 of pellet boilers and the only difference is the fuel this runs on oil at three dollars and something uh, a gallon this runs on pellets currently at 249 a ton. We've just been where you are right now. That's, that's the only difference here.